If you have an interest in computers, think logically, can analyze and troubleshoot complex problems and express ideas clearly, you may be interested in computer network administrator as an occupation. Computer network administrators plan, establish, maintain, and support the use of networks. We connected with a network administrator to find out more. My name is Mark Hazelwood, and I'm a computer network administrator. Basically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, I assist users, maintain servers, networking and security for a number of different organizations. You need to be in the office around 7.30 uh, to prepare for any user questions that might crop up uh, overnight or over the weekend. First thing in the morning, come in, review emails, uh, respond to any urgent issues. Um, you know, uh, verify server health, network health, look for issues in the logs, uh, do basic troubleshooting. Um, during the day, we procure hardware uh, with regards to the network. So that can range from desktops, smartphones, servers, networking components, and firewalls. I deploy those with the assistance of my team, and we build the servers, we put the operating systems on them, we secure them, make them ready for your use, and then we do routine monthly maintenance on that network and service any issues that you may encounter. A lot of what we do is what's called remote access. We'll bring up a remote window to the server through what's called remote desktop through a secured session. From there, we can review logs. Uh, we can do anything that we would need to as though we're standing in front of it with the exception of replacing hardware. Dealing with customers, um, what I'll do is I'll talk to them, find out what their business needs are. Um, from there, we'll make recommendations for them uh, based on what we know works. So you have to have a high level of patience. Uh, a lot of times we'll be explaining things to people who simply don't understand the language. Technical skills um, should be very familiar with replacing hardware inside of computers, uh, hardware inside of servers. You should understand RAID, uh, which is a terminology which we use for redundant uh, array of disks. Also very strong troubleshooting skills and the ability to work alone uh, without any supervision or direction uh, for long periods of time. You know, the other things we do is simple hand tools. Uh, every so often you'll need to run some cabling, um, so you know, cable crimpers, uh, you know, drywall saw, very light uh, construction. So back when I started, um, there wasn't a lot for IT certifications and post-secondary didn't do a lot. Um, you know, uh, what we're finding now is a lot of people are going into post-secondary taking uh, specific courses uh, that relate to the job and that will prep you for uh, what you're going to run into on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, then you can take that and expand upon it and get the industry certifications from the vendors. There's a certification path from Microsoft called the MCITP, which stands for Microsoft Certified Information Technology Professional. You have to take all those tests, pass them with a score of 75% or better, and once you achieve that, you get the credential. If I'm looking for a candidate uh, for a network admin position, the first thing that I like to see is a good understanding of basic IT technology. So, you know, we're talking about desktop notebook, mobility devices, servers, and networking gear. The next thing I'm looking for is probably going to be IT management. Uh, move into a director level position for you know IT administration and things like that. I'm often learning new things on the job. Uh, as you know, technology changes very, very quickly. Uh, what you knew three months ago or six months ago is never the same. Uh, so we're continually learning, exploring the new, the new versions of every piece of software that they come out. Challenging aspects of problem solving uh, are encountering an issue that no one ever has seen before. And with the multitude of configurations that are available out there, we run into those on a daily basis. You know, we tap on each other's shoulder and say, hey, have you seen this before? And we'll put our heads together collectively as a team and work to solve the problem. Uh, it's not a, an eight by five job. Uh, even though a lot of places will say it's eight to five, it's really not. If the server goes down at two o'clock in the morning during a payroll run, they call you and have you come in and repair it, make sure it works, because people need to get paid. I enjoy my job a lot. Uh, I do it because I love it. Um, I've always been uh, into computers. Uh, you know, back when I was 14, we'd take apart Dad's computer, have to have it running before the morning, you know, uh, just to make sure it was there so he could use it. Uh, so it kind of started back then, uh, and it's grown into, you know, I never imagined I'd be a network administrator at this point, you know. Uh, but I, I love it. I love dealing with the people. Uh, I love the hardware. I love the learning. 
It's fantastic. I see myself doing this for a very long time. Computer network administrators need a combination of related experience and knowledge and may come from a wide variety of backgrounds. Employers usually require applicants to have at least two years of related post-secondary education. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the Occupational Profile on the Alice website, and learn about related occupations like Computer Engineer and Systems Security Analyst. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.